Folks, how are we doing? Welcome back. I bought myself a barn. I finally have 5,000 square foot of amazingness. It just so happened to come with 40 acres, a pool, a house, and some pasture land too. So we'll tell you more about it as time goes on, but we've got work to get to. The grass is growing, the fields need mowing. But first, I had some gravel brought in, some 21 AA. There's a secondary drive. We have enough road frontage where you can have an extra drive out there and it just was kind of rutted up and old, needed more stone brought in. So we had a bunch of that dropped off. I graded some of it out, but I had one more load. So we're gonna knock that out. After that, we're gonna put in the Hiller better that we got from Heavy Hitch. I wanna get a garden in soon. It's that time of year right now, so we don't have time to waste. Oh, and I forgot, we have a new addition to the family. We say hi to June. She's an English Cocker Spaniel and you'll be seeing a lot more of her on the channel. So what we're doing here is building up this road. It had sunk way down. We added roughly eight to 10 inches of stone here. Now, I had originally crowned this quite a bit and I'm fairly new to installing gravel driveways. We put that huge one in out at Richland, but you wanna have a crown so the water doesn't pool on the driveway. But I feel like I put too much crown on here. And so I'm using uh, the land plane to actually, I'm going the opposite way I normally would. So I'm trying to draw some material away from the middle to try to try to flatten it out a bit. And so I'm, I'm using those angled blades that are on the land plane to kind of push the material away from the middle, still keep some of a crown on there, but not nearly as much. And so that land plane, this is, this is pretty wet material. So it's, it's kind of clumping it up and grabbing it in the beginning. And, and then I'm going to adjust the top link here and really get it to to really level out and let that gravel spill over afterwards. And then the very last thing I'm doing, I've got that bucket curled all the way back. I've got a tooth bar on there, so I can't use the regular big flat bottom on there, but there's a smaller flat bottom section. And I'm putting that down and just running it forward and really smoothing things out at the end there without having to really move any material. And so that's what we're gonna wind up with. It's gonna take some time to drive over it. You know, my driveway out in Richland looks fantastic after uh, a year or so, well, not even a year, probably eight months or so after doing it. And I expect this to look the same, although this is gonna look cleaner. Once it rains, this gravel will clean up really well. It'll be almost looking like just a straight gravel driver with very little clay content, a lot less dust than the 22 AA that we had out at Richland. As always, we're sponsored by Bora Wheel Spacers. They are made in America, have a lifetime warranty. If your tractor feels tippy, side to side, especially if you have a cab on it, then adding a set of wheel spacers can make a big difference. Get more information on them at the link down below.
few things I want to tell you about really quick. Right now, it's May 2022. We do have a sale going on. So you can save 10% off of every attachment that we sell on our website. Head on over there to get more information, limited time only. Now we also have a brand new rewards program and to kick that party off, we are given 5% rewards towards a future purchase when you make an order. So if you order a thousand dollar attachment right now, you get 50 bucks to use towards a future order as well. Now we also have a merchandise store available. A lot of you guys have been asking if you can buy a hat or a shirt or something with our logo on it. Very flattered. We don't want to make any money off of you. So if we do make any profits, those are going to be donated to a charity. But if you want some GWT swag, there's going to be a link down below as well as on our website on where to buy. guys so that went pretty well now this is the old uh rock that was down here so a lot bigger stuff and you can see how it's just covered in weeds there's topsoil leaves everything else on there so it's a lot uh, bigger than what we put down and what we have is is really more of a, a final you know topping off and uh, again we put eight to ten inches down here depending on the area and you can see along the edges it's already starting to clean up a bit, but as it rains, it's really going to clean it up, you know, and it's just going to make it look like a nice gravel driveway. I mean, look at that, that size comparison there. So this would be kind of rough riding on there. Um, I think we're going to really appreciate, and that's what Balkama uses, is they use this 21 AA around here. Again, we're in Southwest Michigan. Uh, this is what they, they recommend and what they sell all the time for gravel driveways for a, a final top coat. Now, as far as I can tell, that gravel did not continue. It's just straight topsoil here. So before I extend this gravel drive. I want to get it around and connect it uh, maybe over to the paved drive or at least over that way. I'm going to strip out this topsoil. Otherwise, you're going to typically you're going to have what happens up there with that old stone where it just kind of sinks down because topsoil has a lot of organic matter so it breaks down unlike sand or clay where it just kind of sits there. Um, that stone is going to want to well, you can see it's already sinking down into the topsoil right here. So we want to strip away that topsoil. That way our gravel is not sinking down in it. Well, that's going to do it for us today, folks. We did not get to assembling that hiller better, but we're going to do that in one of the next videos coming up shortly. Dirt Dog Land Planes. They're amazing tools, very easy to use. I like them a lot better than a box blade for driveway maintenance and installation. It's my go-to tool that I use, and we'll hit it maybe two, three times a year as needed. If you're not using the driveway much, probably don't need to as often. But we sell tractor attachments, and we don't just sell them. We don't just tell you about them. We show you them in action. We show you the do's and the don'ts, the good and the bad. However they work, we want you to know. We'd love to help you out. We sell and ship all over the country. Check out goodworkstractors.com. If you enjoy seeing tractor videos, we'd love to have you tag along. Hit that subscribe button right down below. I want to thank you for taking time out of your day to stop by. And until next time, stay safe. We'll see you soon.